Hi there, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today. City skylines. Things look a little different. I don't know if you're going to believe me, and I wouldn't blame you if you didn't. I lost everything again. And I mean everything. My, where they have the mods and the assets and stuff, everything was black, blank, gone. I don't know what I did. I went into the game and I recorded the last video. Everything was fine. I got the video together, I uploaded it to YouTube, I came back into the game, nothing. Not even a save file. Everything was gone. Now, I don't know if it had anything to do with the update to that financial district thing, but I, I'm not buying it. And it made me so nervous. I'm like, what keeps happening? What, you know, I, like I'm doing something wrong. And until I know what it is, it's going to keep happening and that makes me nervous. So what I ended up doing is just completely uninstalling City Skylines. I went into the folder in Steam. I cleaned it up. I restarted my computer and then I reinstalled City Skylines. And here we are. So I had to rebuild this all over again. We're using the same Shady Strands map. But I did things a little bit differently. But I think we're up to about the same in population and income. Maybe a little bit more. But let me zoom out here for you. On the same map, I have the same 25 tiles. But instead of starting down here, I moved up here. This is where I wanted to go eventually anyway. And I'm not unhappy with it. So we're up here. Just a little bit higher on the map. I did cordon these off and we're, we ended up having to end up here because the industry, as you can see, is still in demand. But I think I mentioned it in my last video. I'm trying to not ignore it, but not panic about it as much as I would normally. So I'm going to quickly show you. Oh, the keyboard. I'm sorry. So I built up my forestry here. Farming is just this area here, but I built a wide road. So that you're coming out of here, especially off. Oh, wrong key. I'm so sorry. Off the express. Well, no, not exactly. This is the expressway. Yeah, it does. It comes around here, but I gave them another route to get into all the commercial here. So they could come through here to the depot and then they come underneath the road and come up here to industry. I did give them some commercial because they kept asking for it. The not enough buyers for products warning, I think. Now it's not enough educated workers. <laughs> so I ended up opening up my ore here, but I concentrated mainly on my neighborhood. Now this is where I began just to get the video up to speed. This is my original city and it looks like commercial is expanding. So that's a good thing, I guess. And I do believe that these are at least level three, four. Okay, going on five. Not bad. Lots of roundabouts. I remember it this time. Not a fan of them, but I do like cul-de-sacs. And I know a lot of YouTubers just don't like them. I don't know why. I think these are cool. Yeah, it's a huge one, but whatever. So this was my original way to get in. And then I tried to use an upscale or slightly larger like this is four lane two lane in each direction so that traffic wouldn't become an issue and then i gave the housing the smaller two lane with trees so that there would be appeal and then i gave a park bit of a park behind the businesses here just pathways and a park and trees <laughs> i'm going to work on beautification i know it's bad right now but they're not too unhappy. It's not as great as it was. The land value. Is that this? Yes. It could be better. But it's getting there. I just built this last night before I went to sleep. So it, it, it's getting there. And it needs improving. Desperately needs improving. But it's not that bad. Doesn't it look like it's cute? You know what I actually thought? Wouldn't it be great if I could make an owl? I love owls. I have a thing for owls. So just do another circle here and another... I will never do this again. <laughs> this was an idea. I thought it would be fun. And boy, was I wrong. No, no. So we get a tadpole. <laughs> I'm happy with the tadpole. So I don't know what you guys think, but you're welcome to let me know in the comments if you think I did a better job or a worse job. So I worked on, I started with this. It wasn't that hard to do. I let it build up. I concentrated on the industry here just to get them going. 
there is a way for them to get there rather easily. And then I did give them a, what would you call that, a loop? So they can get back on and come down this way if they wanted to. Now, I don't have a way for them to get out. I suppose I could do that. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, do I? Did I? I thought I did. Yeah. Yeah, there's a way to get out and a way to get down. Okay, I thought so. So anyway, this is what I worked on a majority of the day yesterday. And I'm embarrassed to say I got a little tired of it after a while. And in some cases, it just wouldn't work no matter what I did. But I have to say I'm getting a little bit better at uh, move it. So I guess there's some benefits to trial and error and doing it over and over and over and over again. But yeah, it, it's not the greatest, but it is working out and traffic is not all that insane, but it doesn't look good on here. Let me tell you. Oh, wow, it was down to 69%. Well, I added this last night as well, just to give them another way, because this was insane. And I had had it just, well, I'm sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself here. I had a through here that came up to this roundabout and everybody was coming down this road and getting blocked right here, waiting for this traffic to come in. So I made a ramp and you come into the city that way, okay? And then this is the other side of the city and you can choose to go there or back into the city. Now here's the other one. See, this is what happened the last time down there. So I ended up including this, but I, it looks like I've got the wrong road coming in. Did I do something wrong here? Yep. <laughs> no, wait a minute. Is that a two or a three? It's a two, and this is a two. Okay, I'm not going to worry about that at the moment. And then they can go this way or they can go through, but I'm going to have to work on that. I just added that last night because it was backed up. It was just, you know, a, a road, and this road went this way and this road went that way. So I gave them another roundabout. Hmm. Didn't do too well, did I? So I got the population up. And these are all light green and light blue, residential and commercial. This is like commercial on the outside and it's commercial on the inside. Even though that looks like a roundabout, it's not a roundabout. Well, maybe it is. But I consider this a neighborhood and I put the businesses here and then the housing out this way. Let me show you real quick. I had to do the train line here. This is where I originally wanted the depot to be because the train itself, the line from the game, came in this way. But it cut through, so I moved it, as you can plainly tell. But the trains are using it. I'm not going to worry about it too much. I know it's not perfect. I've never been a perfect person. Even when I try, I fail. So good enough is my standard. <laughs> I try. I try really hard to make it super perfect and nine times out of ten I just make things worse so I'm learning to let it go here's my depot I made these two I moved it so that it's along the river I brought it across here because again this train line it came in like this I don't know why all right and then ended up down here so I gave it a bridge across I don't know why I can't have a pretty bridge but that's what it's giving me. I put my dam in this time, but here again, I mean, if somebody wants to explain this to me in the comments, you're more than welcome to. My thinking is an entire city only needs one of these, right? But it's not enough. And that just blows my mind. The bigger my city gets, I know the energy demand goes up, but my goodness, a dam? A dam should take care of half of a state. So that's where my mindset is. And I have to change that. I thought this would be more than enough power, and I keep ending up having to put windmills here. I ended up, I'm sorry, we're going back. All of this is brand new. I had to add all that in. I had to add all this in, and it's still not enough power, and I think that's silly. See, I was hoping to get something like this on my train track, but I guess not. Maybe that's a mod. I didn't get one here either. This is just that four-lane, two-way road, which I like especially for business and industry. I don't have any DLC, and I have a few mods left. <laughs> mods I cannot live without. All right, so I put the train underground so I can build here. I came across, and I brought it up here, which this is the original that came with the map coming out of the city here. Okay. See, now this one gets a trestle. How come I don't? It is a two, yeah. I was using the two-way. 
and it got a trestle and I put a bridge up and it didn't get it. Maybe it wasn't high enough. Yeah. All right. So anyway, this is the original train track that came with the map. I added this curve here because I moved it again. This train track came all the way through here. It just cut this in half and then came around here. And I want this open for building. So I moved everything. Now I gave this one. This one just comes over and goes on the other side of the expressway. That's all it is. I understand that you need a way to go this way and you need a way to go that way. So this just comes through. I hope I gave them an up room. It seems like I did. So we're going to follow this track and then we're going to come back. I brought it across the expressway. Yes, this is a mess, but I actually learned a little bit more. I couldn't quite do this with M. I not going to do that. I'm getting a little bit better at landscaping, terraforming. I just didn't come back to this because I was concentrating on the city. So I would move this in, try again to lift this up a little bit and then smooth this out. Okay. So I brought it on the other side of the expressway. It wraps around my little castle ruins here. I give it a little bit of fun here on the hill. I put it underneath the ground so it would go across the expressway here. And then it just goes out to the original. I left all this alone. I moved this well, actually, since it's two, so I, it has the option to go that way or this way. I gave it a connection. So here I brought it back. I kept it on this side. And then here's the, you can go this way or you can go straight out of the city. I hope that's okay. <laughs> I do hope that's okay. That was my train line. Oh, another lightning strike. I haven't touched my expressway yet. And this is the original entrance going down here. I don't really see a problem with it. It's just going around this little hill here. And that's the end of the line anyway. This vulgar little lake here, I was kind of thinking of fixing. Maybe if we ever get down that far. This train track just, oh my goodness, I never hooked it up. All right, well, I have to do that. I don't want to do that now though. I don't want to bore you guys. And I never, I can never talk when I'm working. So I don't want to bore anyone with that kind of silliness. It works. I just have to hook that one other one up. I'm glad I saw that. So we have electricity issues. We have water issues. And we now have garbage issues. Abandonment issues. But I think everything's working out okay. I'm up to, I believe, three, yep, three water pumps. I am using the, oh, they're here. This is, okay, okay, sewer. This is the, oopsie, doggone, I'm sorry. The mod asset is inland sewer treatment and it doesn't pollute. So, well, let's see. Does it pollute? I'm not sure. Why do I find that? Oh, this is pollution, the purple thing. Nope, they don't pollute. Okay, so that's good. Those are my sewer treatments. But water's not good and electricity is not good. Traffic isn't all that great either. So we do have issues that I need to sort out. Oh, what a mess it's been. I'm so afraid that Every time now that I come into this game, it's going to be gone. Something's going to be broken. I'm not going to have this or that. But the worst thing is not being allowed to come into the game and losing everything that you worked so hard on. So let me know what you think of my new little town here. Here's what I want to do next. I think I'm going to ignore this area for now. I think it's built up enough. I'm going to come across to this side. I'm going to do a little bit more grid-like Maybe starting here and coming down. And I want it to be upgraded. So I'm going to put a campus here for university. And then I'm going to use the dark green and the dark blue. Which will help to eventually eliminate this. So that I can go offices. I will keep these as industry. And I will go offices here. Now the question I had about that. Since I'm not using DLC. So I don't have the industries DLC. I'm just doing generic. Will the ore, oil, farming, and forestry supplement my businesses? I'm not sure. I've never gotten this far in the game to find out. Do I have to keep industry if I have offices or will offices supply my businesses? I think that's how it works, but I could be wrong. You're welcome to let me know. So that's about it. That's, that's what I'm going to be doing next. I'm going to work on this area here. I'm probably going to grid it a little bit better. I like wonky though. I really do. And I'm not unhappy with this. 
but I'm going to grid this. It's going to be more upscale. I'm going to get the university in. Hopefully they will graduate soon enough that I can start offices. And then maybe in my original corner. No, I really want to... Hmm. Well, I guess as offices go up, I could upgrade these guys. But I really don't want to. Maybe I'll keep this old town. And maybe this Circle City can get a little funky. But won't that look weird? Don't you think that would look a little weird to have a ton of tall buildings on a spire? Spiral, I'm sorry. Maybe the talls should go here. I don't know. Things I need to think about. But that's the gist of where we're going. And I do want to try and get a high population. And we're making 23 grand. So that's a good thing. I know I'm on unlimited money, but I never really think about that. I always look at this. But I want to get population up. I don't think I've ever been higher than... I think maybe I've come to 80, close to 80,000. So wouldn't it be fun to hit 100? I don't know. And hopefully, no more glitches. Everything will stay. This file will remain. And I can continue this time. But thank you so much for sticking with me to the end. I hope you enjoyed this. Like the video if you did. And subscribe if you're interested. That would help me out a lot. Take very good care of yourselves and have a wonderful day. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.